then we've got an update here courtesy of Resident Advisor again this time announcing the new Printworks up and coming club nights so it says here Printworks reveals details of forthcoming club nights Chemical Brothers Amelia Lenz actress and among the names confirmed to play over the London club's autumn winter season so I don't think have they been open properly just yet I'm not too sure but tickets have been selling out you know um, hand over fist people have been gagging to go back to that venue again you know I'm not really the biggest fan of the place but in terms of a spectacle in terms of a place to go um, especially post COVID it's definitely a location I'd probably have on my list in terms of just going as to an event but in terms of a rave it's, mm, so it can be a bit off but I, I get it so I found the, anyway continue so I found the club print works as unveiled details of its autumn winter events program it says the press release today over 35 shows running from september the 17th until january the first have been announced the open weekend on september the 17th to the 19th sees the first edition of redacted which operates with a no phones on a dance floor policy with lineups only announced of the day which again is admirable but considering the crowd that they attract it's a little bit redundant because you're definitely going to find a picture or two or more or video on social media on the day of that event but you know it can't help to try it says october will see sound crash with john hopkins more or less uh, Modest Leska, sorry, actress among along with the Hacienda Classical, the Regenerate Nights curated by Clapton and Green Velvet. That has to end the classical, mate. White people love that shit, innit? They love classical kind of... But I get it, innit? Because if you lived during that has to end the era, to see them sort of like, you know, give a rendition with a classical music set, a classical orchestra, whatever it may be, um, it's definitely going to bring back some nostalgic thoughts for you. But it's just it's just funny. It just reminds you of that kind of classical techno shit they do. But anyway, it says in November, Printworks also play hosts to sets from Todd Turge and an Alien Monsieur Plex with Amelia Lenz headlining the XL party. So just when we thought we were kind of rid of Amelia Lenz her and her flipping skinny arms going to be back again wailing in air playing dredgy fucking top 50 you know beat poor techno like nothing changes and everything remains the same no everything yeah everything remains the same in the dance music in it post covid which again is not a bad thing because as much as these people are you know a little bit redundant and boring they also need a way to make a living you know what i mean that's the real weird part about all this discourse that exists where people be like oh how can you book certain artists that are playing playgraves and all this monarchy it's like yeah they were playing the playgraves because they needed the money to eat and now that the clubs are open they need the money to survive and to pay their rents do you know what i mean like i don't exactly blame these guys for deciding to take the gigs like those playgraves as well looking back it's never really in my opinion it was never really the fault of the the contractors the independent contractors the years ago and play it's more so on the unscrupulous promoters and the people kind of taking advantage of lax governmental restrictions right those are the people that really should be held to account especially the ones who are from that country the ones that are purposely putting their own fellow citizens at risk by putting on a rave in order to line their pockets there should be more to blame than a dj who's been hired to play this event i don't think they have really any say in if the event goes on or off right because they're not organizing it if there's one thing i know being a promoter and obviously doing my DJ thing on the side is that the one thing that you can never really the one thing that's very difficult to get a DJ to do is to promote a party even if it's just sharing something on their social media feed right they're notoriously just you know um and uncooperative when it comes to that kind of stuff maybe because they just don't think it's something that they need to do because they're being booked to play or because they're lazy it doesn't matter but you know it's not as if these guys are organizing these events they were the ones just playing them so I don't know, man. It's just interesting to see people arguing about who should be playing these events post lockdowns, but then also not realizing or kind of being compassionate to the idea that these people who are the business techno kind of tier a people they still need to make a living do you know what i mean it's not like you know Amelia lens doesn't have bills to pay you know what i mean like i'm sure she has a perfectly you know um good reasons as to why she did what she did prior and it is what it is who gives a shit it's just funny to just see the same names again it's just funny mostly in my opinion because people made such a big stink about things changing when they obviously weren't going to change I, I knew it from the start because you know the reality is that these places have to make money too they have been closed for two years they need to ensure that they sell out you know events before they even launched and they have to sell over a certain amount to make it viable and the hiring of security is already going to cost them an arm and a leg i mean it's a lot goes into putting on the club night especially at that scale so to expect them to just be like booking your friends that you know because you know they haven't got a look it's just a little bit naive but it's just interesting to see in black and white 
um december sees uh Nossier playing their first ever london show and bugged out chemical brothers of a dj set another one for the white man them um the season closes out with a from our mind party which will bring richie horton robert hood and a live set from octave one oof that would be bad um additionally print was recently revealed inkwells a space within the building which has been made as which has been made open to the public for the first time which shows an additional room at the selected venues read below for more details blah de, blah 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 so yeah um big big list of events coming forward for print works again you know most of those tickets will probably end up selling up especially for the better ones so make sure you jump on those tickets asap and like i said enjoy for what it is it might not be the best it might not be the most full it might be the most um what you call it progressive or you know pushing of the envelope lineups and programming but it still serves a good place in terms of um the london clubbing landscape do you know what i mean the ability to see these people playing in such a kind of well put together place that has you know great production value and sound and all that malarkey is good so def check it out if you're that way inclined def check it out am i still